Hello, hello, how are you? I'm in my gardening shirt, which means I'm going to do a quick garden tour update. I'm gonna show you what we've been growing, the highs, the lows, the successes, and all that good stuff. Apparently, apparently it's not been the best summer for us gardeners. Our crops have not done as well as they could do, but I think, I think I'm doing okay, and I've not really got anything to compare it to, so I'm doing like a thousand percent better than I was last summer, so that is the main thing. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what is going on. I'm pretty excited. We've got a pumpkin patch. We've got a pumpkin patch. Or we will have, I don't know. Anyway, I'll go outside, I'll show you what's going on, and um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy. So let's get out there. Okay, so the first thing I've got to show you is around the front of the garden. We don't normally come round here because there's not really a huge amount to see. We had some enormous cypress, ugh, enormous cypress trees, which we had to take down. They have now come down, but we've kind of been left with a little bit of a weird area. We've got to conceal the bins. I think the holly tree is going to eventually come down because it's kind of a half tree. Um, but anyway, I was in the garden centre the other day and they were giving away like squash and pumpkin plants which are almost dead and I was like wow what a win I'm gonna get some of them so I've made a bit of a pumpkin patch with some dead-ish squash and pumpkin plants here's another um there's another <laughs> and then I also had some pumpkin plants which I'd grown from seed which are actually thriving and I've planted these as well so hopefully between the ones that I planted from seed and the ones that might survive that I got for free, maybe, do you know what? This could be a pumpkin patch. And if it does well, I may even make Mary a sign which says Mary's pumpkin patch. We may make a scarecrow. It could be a whole thing. Look, we actually have one tiny pumpkin there just coming. Anyway, that's the first thing I've got to show you. Then next over here, I'm very excited. I've been wanting some plum trees for a while. Um, so I've brought one over to show you. It's very odd. It's a big stem, really, but it is technically a tree. It's a Victoria plum tree. So we're hopefully gonna get that in the garden soon. So that's a new advancement. And then over here, another new advancement, we decided to extend a flower bed, which I'm very excited about. So we are going to put in some roses. I think we might put a plum tree in here. I don't know, probably some rhubarb knowing me, but yeah, this is new, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna have a bit of a seating area there. I don't know, it might hopefully be a bit of a barbecue area. I'm not sure, I just thought it'd be nice. Kind of breaks up the garden a bit. And then what have we got over here? Anything exciting? Not hugely. The fig tree has produced some figs, but not many. We've had quite a few courgettes from this plant. I actually need to feed a load of stuff. We went to Peter Beals, bought a load of roses, but I'll do another rose update soon, I promise. And then some more flowers here. Oh, we picked a load of French beans the other night. They were absolutely incredible. Um, rhubarb. Oh, this is my curry plant. I love this. It smells crazy. It smells like curry. Mary loves to come over and smell it. If you have a toddler, would recommend getting some smelly plants for them to smell. She loves it. Anyway, let's go and see the crops. Oh, over here, I've got some black currants, which are actually doing quite well. I kind of need to pick them soon, but I have tried a couple and they're not actually very nice. I didn't realize, but black currants are actually not that delicious. So I'm not sure what to do with them. If anybody knows what to do with any black currants, let me know. Um, here we've got some little courgettes coming which is exciting. That was one of my plants that got attacked by the deer so I'm really glad it's coming back. And then over here, what have I got? I think this is butternut squash. I've got another pumpkin. I should really put this pumpkin plant in my pumpkin patch but I did this before I knew I was going to do a pumpkin patch. This is my greenhouse. They're looking quite warm, I should probably open them up today. In here, there's not a huge amount of activity, apart from cucumbers. I had no idea how fun it would be to grow cucumbers. You can grow them outside, but I think they do do better in a little greenhouse. And this is literally all we have, like a polythene one, but they're doing quite well. They're actually a lot more delicious than shop-bought cucumbers as well. And then in this one, I'm just trying to get together 
some kind of winter crops. So I've got some kohlrabi, some purple sprouting broccoli, some chard hopefully. I'm not really sure what's going to work but hopefully something. I've got some tomatoes coming which is really exciting. Um, and then what else here? This is another plant that got attacked by a deer. I was about to get rid of it and then I saw it was growing one tiny courgette. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer just to see if it's going to revive itself. Then over here I've got some monge too. Um, I think this is kind of coming towards the end of its life. Monge too doesn't really last that long. So you kind of plant them and then they kind of do their thing and then they run out of steam and then you have to replant more. These might be a goner soon and I might replace them with some winter veg. And then over here, more monge too. Then my runner beans have been, oh, they've been a little bit attacked by the wind. It's really, really windy today and they are fully, they're fully on, on a slant. I don't know if you can tell, but I think I might need to get out here and try and straighten them up. Um, but we have got some runner beans, which is really exciting. And they're big as well. Like, look at that. I don't even know what to do with the runner bean, but I'm very excited. See, look, this is what the wind is doing. It's so windy. And this is like a walled garden and still the wind is crazy. Anyway, that's my runner beans. And I have a huge amount, but I do have some and they're very exciting. <laughs> and then my potatoes are out of control. Hopefully we'll have a plentiful crop. Um, strawberries, so boring. Why did nobody tell me how boring it is growing strawberries? You get like four and then you miss half of them because they're covered in leaves and then the birds get them and you're like, oh, well that was worth it. Um, beetroot, not really doing much yet. Beetroot's quite boring, just saying. Grab courgettes, just some mini ones here. Um, a few tomatoes going on here, nothing really major. Um, oh, I've got myself tangled. Um, more courgettes, I'm all about the courgettes. In here, um, what have I got going on? Raspberries, carrots, I think we might be harvesting them soon. And then over here, courgettes, these are doing well. And then I put in some purple sprouting broccoli for the winter, so hopefully, God look, they've been knocked over by the wind. It's so windy today, gosh, they've been really attacked, haven't they? Look at that, the animals are loving the purple sprouting broccoli. That may not last. Anyway, and here we have a courgette plant, which I'm actually going to see a courgette from. I'm quite excited. This got attacked really heavily by the deer and I didn't think it would come back, but here it is. It's taken a little longer, but we're getting there. And then in here we have more courgettes. I would say if you're gonna grow courgettes, just go classic green courgettes. So don't mess around with the balls. Don't mess around with the yellow ones. Just go classic. They're a lot more, I don't know, productive, prolific, you know what I mean. Anyway, over here, my tomato plants are out of control, but I am getting some tomatoes, so that's exciting. Um, I've got some pumpkin shaped ones somewhere there. I don't know if you can see, but hopefully, and then we've got some peppers coming here. These are meant to be red, but they're still green, so I don't know, I don't know if they're gonna turn red. I don't really understand. Anyway, what else? Um, God, look at my runner beans. It's just like a monster, isn't it? Like a monster that's coming for the mange too. Oh well, anyway, more potatoes. These are Christmas potatoes. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Mary's discovered picking the blueberries, which is really cute. Um, I don't know, this, this was a lot more exciting, this whole bed. And then the radishes, I kind of used them all up. I've got some... Gosh, what did I put in? Some kohlrabi, I think. Um, what else did I put in? Some beetroot. I don't know, I need to do a final sowing of like radishes, beetroot, carrots, that kind of thing. And then I need to plant some kohlrabi. I really need to spend some time out here and like get some more things in the ground in time for winter. Anyway, I think, I think we're there, kind of there. Oh, look, red tomatoes, look at that. They're still quite firm, so I don't think I'm meant to pick them quite yet. But I'm very excited. Anyway, let's go back inside. Oh wait, before we go back inside, look, chilies! How cool is that? And did I show you my pumpkin? Oh, I love my pumpkin. 
I swear to God, I come out here like every day just to see how my pumpkin's doing. And under here, I've got some tiny, tiny, tiny cucumbers. But they are doing much, much better than the ones that I've got in the greenhouse. So it does make an impact having that little greenhouse. Anyway, let's go. Oh, rhubarb. <laughs> So much rhubarb. I didn't realize how much rhubarb rhubarb gave. Anyway, let's go back inside. More toms. More courgettes. Again, blowed over in the wind. Woo! Um, basil. I love having basil. Hello, hello. So that's kind of where we're at. Pumpkin patch, winter veg, tomatoes are coming, uh, courgettes are plentiful. By the way, I've been pickling my courgettes, which is so delicious. I love a pickled courgette. I had no idea how good pick ugh, pickled courgettes are. They're so good. Um, what else have I been doing? Oh, I've been freezing courgettes so that I can put them in things over the winter. Um, what else? I don't know. Courgettes. I'm all about the courgettes. They're so good. Um, yeah, courgettes, pumpkin patch. That's really giving me life right now. The runner beans, I'm quite excited for when they, I get more. And then the dwarf French beans, I will be doing more of them next year. They were delish. Anyway, I think that's where we're at now. Um, yeah, hoping for a new cucumber soon. Hoping for tomatoes soon. And um, yeah, it's fun. It's so fun. Gardening is fun. Growing veg is weirdly fun. And hopefully soon we're going to have plums from our very own plum tree. So yeah, that is it. That's my updated garden tour. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.